on Luca. But and and maybe it's not a a a, a superstar um big man that was available. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it'd be one next year and they can convince Kyrie, re-sign with us. We're about to get I don't know, Zach Levine or somebody from Chicago. And it's gonna be Kyrie, Luca, and Zach Levine. That'd be cool. That'll make that'll make Dallas titles titles contenders. At least the, I can see Dallas getting to the to the Western Conference Finals with that team. If it happens. But right now, this is this is a first round exit. It's gonna be an excited four four and seven series no matter who they play. Cause watching Kyrie, watching Luca is exciting basketball. But they gonna get bumped out the first round. They gonna get bumped out the first round. You no, know, you know what I mean. It, it came from Luca doing everything to Luca and Kyrie doing everything. There's no big man. There's no third player to 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 consistently like play with these these two these two superstars that could give Dallas a chance. To advance deep in the playoffs or or even win the title, they don't got those type of players. They don't have a complete team. They just don't. They just don't have a complete team. So, yo, know, that's my that's my little take with the Mavs, and let's give a little shout out to my New York Nets because I mentioned I mentioned the Lakers on Saturday. I didn't mention that 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 my Knicks got a win against the Nets. I'm sorry, not the Nets. <laughs> the Nets. I mean, against the Jazz that that game. You know, I mentioned about I mentioned um the the, the Wizards and the, and the and the Warriors for Monday night. I mentioned the Mavs and, and the T Wolves Monday night. I didn't mention my Knicks got got the win against the Nets that game. You know what I mean? And that's good. And that shows some love for the Cavs too. The the Cavs got got a win on Monday night as well. The Cavs are really creeping up in those standards. I would not be surprised if they if they jump over Philadelphia and end up being third, third in the um third in, in the Eastern Conference. I would not be surprised if if that happens. We will not be surprised at at all. It's it's getting intense. The standards are getting intense. The 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 the. The Nets are still high in the standards, but they're going to drop. They're going to drop. And you know what that means Why they dropping? Because the Knicks right now are 7. 7 in the East is the New York Knicks. Why, why the Nets are going to continue to drop, the Knicks are going to continue to rise up. I think the Nets won so, enough games where they, 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 they could still make the play in by the end, by the end, of, this, by the end of this season. They are really, they're not a good team. No superstars, but they got so many wins because of Ky- because of Kyrie and Kevin Durant. That I could see them st- dropping from from fifth to about nine. But that also means there are teams like like the Knicks or like the Hawks that's going to take advantage of of the fallen Nets and rise up. The Heat. Might you know have a chance to rise up, get off that get off get off that that six spot, get off that six spot. You know what I mean? You don't want to you don't want to have a a bad losing losing streak at the end of the season and end up dropping in in, in the playing. You know there's there's good chances of that happen. There's good chances. There's a chance the Nets might fall out of the top ten completely. And a team like the Pacers will go back in those in in those standards, or the or the or even well, no, nah, not the Bulls. I also sell even the Bulls, but nah, not the Bulls. I'm just disappointed they ain't make no moves in the trade deadline. You know what I mean? Like that 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 didn't show me that you you're you're trying to to do something this season. You didn't make no moves. How you make no moves? But whatever, whatever. That's last week. But despite me saying all this about about the Eastern Conference Finals, the East is all about the Boston Celtics and the Mo- Milwaukee Bucks right now. Those are two teams that's going. That one of those two teams is going to is going to the championship. Cleveland might make things interesting. Philadelphia might make things might things interesting, 
and the Knicks in the playoffs will, will be happy for me. But it's all about Boston. It's all about Milwaukee. One of those teams is going to the, the going to the, the is going to the championship. And to be honest with you, I think one of those teams is going to win it all. I'm just not sure which one. I'm just not sure which one. I'm kind of leading to Boston, but at the same time, Milwaukee's is looking as good as they looking. I, oh man, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a real tough one. But sometime before the end of the season, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this prediction. I'm not gonna sit on it the way I sat on the Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL. I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm kind of leading to Boston, but I'm looking. I'm look. I'm looking at Milwaukee. But I don't, I don't. I do not think a champion is gonna come out the West this year. You know, the Lakers are dropping games. LeBron, LeBron is not healthy. Anthony Davis is. He's 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 tough enough to play, but he's not playing like a top a top all star right now. Probably because he just came back from injury. The war I thought the Warriors was was gonna was gonna turn it up by now. They didn't. So I don't know what's going on with them. And stuff is stuff is 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 hurt. You know I don't I have I don't I have belief. That the Denver Nuggets could make the NBA Finals, but it's hard for me to look at them and think NBA NBA champions. Really, the only team I can really think of out the West is prob is probably the Phoenix Suns. And not not based off chemistry, but based off talent on paper. You know, based on talent on paper. And I would love to see, if not the Golden State Warriors, I would love to see the Phoenix Suns in the NBA championship. I guess one of those teams. I guess Boston or Milwaukee. Because I just think that would be a great four four game series. Phoenix versus, versus one of these two. G give me that. Basketball gods, give me that for the NBA championship. And I'll I'll and I'll be real happy this this spring. This this spring, this late spring, I'll be real happy to watch Phoenix, to watch Kevin Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Versus Giannis versus Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I just think that would be a nice series to watch. You know what I mean? I can't believe I'm saying that. A bunch of small market teams other than Boston. But they got the better teams right now. The Lakers is not, not a good team. The Clippers are, you know, they, if they up and down. The Knicks are not a good team. Chicago is not a good team. Miami is, is, is not a championship caliber team. You know, they you know they just not they're not on that on that level. The Knicks is a good team, but not on that level. I'm talking about. You know, the 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 only big market team I could think of at that level is Philadelphia, but uh, I can't see Philadelphia in the NBA championship. Boston or Milwaukee versus Phoenix or Denver. <laughs> The small market teams are back, huh? <laughs> the small market teams are back. That's what it looks like. It looks like the small market teams are back. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this episode right there. Thanks for listening. You know, a lot more NBA talks come, coming our way. And, ooh, that makes that makes me happy because now it's starting to get real. And I love it. Love it so much. You know what I mean? Let's do it, man. More NBA. More NBA. We And of course, yeah, we're gonna keep talking a little uh, we're gonna keep talking a little NFL. We have to. We have to. Too much going on in the NFL, even the all season for us not to. You know what I mean? We got we on we on Aaron Rodgers watch. You know what I mean? We got new coaches for Philadelphia O O C. Um can't pronounce his last name, but first name Shane. He got he got he got the coach job. I was hoping that I was hoping they'll give Jeff Saturday another chance, but it's all good. ESPN do the right thing, bring Jeff Saturday um back on TV. You know the um they also lost the um their uh their defensive coordinator. I believe I'll do my research on on, on that one. I, I believe they also lost their defensive coordinator to a head coaching job. I know Arizona Arizona lost their offensive coordinator to a head coaching job. Not sure what what, what team. Uh, more more on that later. You know, I'll I'll keep in 
keep my ears open of what's going on in the NFL all, all season, you know. But that's that's when the time comes. It's NBA time. Let's talk basketball. Let's keep talking basketball. Man, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Misunderstood. Zayquan Pekin. Y'all have a good day. Peace.